Good morning, everyone. And today, welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this second day of the Christmas Octave. Hope you've had a wonderful Christmas yesterday. And today, we celebrate the life of St. Stephen. So we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Gospel today comes from Matthew, chapter 10, verses 17 to 22. Jesus said to his apostles, Beware of men. They will hand you over to Sanhedrins and scourge you in their synagogues. You'll be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear witness before them and the pagans. But when they hand you over, do not worry about how to speak or what to say. What you are to say will be given to you when the time comes, because it is not you who will be speaking. The spirit of your father will be speaking in you. Brother will betray brother to death and the father his child. Children will rise against their parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all men on account of my name. But the man who stands firm to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. As mentioned in the introduction, today we celebrate the life of St. Stephen. Stephen, in fact, is the very first martyr. He was one of the deacons appointed by the apostles to organise the distribution of food to the poor. He performed many miracles and confounded the Jews in disputes. They then fabricated false charges against him, and at his trial, he preached the risen Christ to them. So they stoned him to death. He prayed for his persecutors as he was dying. One of them, Saul of Tarsus, who was looking after the cloaks of the stone throwers, was later converted and became the great missionary, St. Paul. And so today we ask, St. Stephen, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me for our Gospel Reflection this morning. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow as we continue the octave of Christmas. Till then, God bless. Mm -hmm.